In this video, I'll let you know why I just pruned off half of the foliage of this small deep lilac. In fact, not just the foliage, I removed maybe two thirds of the flowers. Join me and I'll explain it all. Hi, welcome. It is early spring and I'm next to my little leaf lilac tree. This tree has a very nice twigginess to it. If you look carefully, you see that all the branches in this tree have been wired at least once. I do this normally in the middle of winter when I can see where the buds are. Then I do a major prune back. And at the same time, I wire out all the branches to best showcase the flowers later in spring. This tree suffered some damage. We had a storm two weeks ago and a few branches were broken. The wind damage to this branch is very clear. So I'm just clipping off the whole branch at the base. And to balance the tree out, I'm clipping off this other one to two leaves too. Actually, I'll do that here as well. There's a lot of flower buds coming out. Um, I'd like to see the flowers when the tree flowers. So I'm going to trim back all the foliage. If you look at the branch, you can clearly see there's lots of flower buds. Unfortunately, these flower buds keep growing and growing. If I let this grow, I'll just have big lumps of flowers here on the branch. So I'm going to do something which not many people will appreciate, but I'm going to reduce the flowers. I'm taking out two thirds. That way, when it starts flowering, the flowers look decent and it doesn't look like there's a huge amount of flowers for a fairly small tree. Similar to the earlier pruning of the foliage, I'll do that throughout the tree. I expect this tree to start flowering in three to six weeks. By now removing the leaves, I stop the tree from growing further. And with that, even with a modest amount of flowers, I will still have a nice display of flowers. So I'm going to go through the tree to on the one hand, remove a big part of the flowers. And on the other hand, I'm going to remove all the extending growth from the whole tree. Removing part of the flowers has another use. By clipping them off, not only does the tree look less vulgar in the, the amount of flowers that it has, it will also reduce the amount of energy it takes for the tree to flower. This means that over the course of the growing season, the tree will develop better. And therefore next year, there's a better chance of abundant flowering again. Also, the branches will develop better. With most of the foliage gone, you can much better see where all the flowers are. You can see that reducing these doesn't affect it all that much. Another benefit of removing leaves early on is that you get better ramification. And with better ramification, you get smaller branches and with smaller branches, you get finer and smaller leaves. As such, overall, the whole tree will work more delicate. Keep in mind that when you work on a tree like this, you need to make sure the tree is healthy and strong. I know this tree quite well, so I know it can handle it. This pruning back of the foliage to the first two leaves is something that helps the tree also with back budding. Um, there's going to be more light inside the canopy crown. And I'm removing the growing tip and with that, the inhibition to grow new branches on the inside. Of course, for this tree, normally you would say it is still too early to prune the tree. Um, but I want to let the flowers come out stronger 
So instead of waiting a bit longer, I'm trimming the tree now already. So the work here is pretty much done. Thank you for watching my channel. I'll share an update once the tree is flowering. And until then, enjoy spring, keep growing bonsai, and see you next time.